Good morning, you guys. Coffee bowl is empty. Gotta fix that. Uh, this video has taken me a couple days to do. Um, I'm just gonna be honest with you, I've had kind of a shitty week. I've not had a very good week at all. Um, there was a hair in the container that wouldn't come out. That's why I was doing that. So these are the coffee pods that we use. This is the Wide Awake Coffee Company. We use their breakfast blend and their donut shop blend. Zena in the background licking the freaking fridge. Weirdo. I don't know why she did that. <clears throat> like I said, this video has taken me a couple of days to do. We're just filling up the bowl. We like to put coffee pods and sugar on the counter. It just makes it easier for us to make coffee in the morning. Um, this is obviously Splenda. This is not our first choice for sugar. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Um, not the first choice for sugar. There goes Movie opening the door. Hold on. Put it, put the sugar back. All right, dog saying hello to the movie. This boy was earning treats left and right with new tasks that he's learning. Um, he's learning the difference in between the dancing and the singing versus the anxiety like shake thing that I do. So he used to alert to something like this. He didn't alert there. Um, but you guys will see, you won't actually see him do the active alert, but you will see me test my heart rate. Uh, it ended up to be in the 130s on this day, and it was not a very good day for POTS. So, talking to the moon. I'm not gonna meet with you. <laughs> there is a young lady in Denver. I live in Colorado for those of you who are new. Um, there's a young lady in Denver who was wanting to meet with me, do like a service dog meetup. And I don't do service dog meetups right now, especially because. COVID can very well, can still be a very active thing, and I'm trying to stay away from not only COVID, but whatever is going around killing dogs. So, I'm going to hopefully get all, all of my dogs the um, Parvo boosters and Corona booster, I think is what it's called. I'm not too sure. Um, again, for new viewers, my smallest dog, Maddie, is a Parvo survivor. She got Parvo as a very young, very, very young pup and almost didn't make it. So there's that. I found lentils in the fridge, which you guys are going to see me itching my nose th and my face through this entire video. It was driving me absolutely nuts. I couldn't figure out why. But. <laughs> I'm allergic to my own dog's fur. <laughs> This is a very long video, so get yourself some something to drink, get yourself something to eat, or you can do something along with me. There's sewing in this video, you see me finish all of that, you see me get dinner started. Um, we had lentils, rice, and uh, like a shredded pork and gravy mix. It was actually really good. 
this is the container that we keep the lentils in and I thought that I could put the other lentils in to that container but there is no way in hell that they were going to fit so I find a um, pot to cook them in and I always try to wipe the inside of the pot especially because I have dogs that shed like crazy especially Xena who is the white dog that was licking the fridge earlier um, but I always try to wipe the inside of pots and pans and plates and all of that and you just saw his paws which was a heart rate alert he was trying to tell me my heart rate was in the 130s to 140s so we go and figure out what it's doing so I put you on my disc and I go and get my blood pressure thing jig thing that tells me the heart rate thing I don't know what the medical term is for it I don't really care that thing right there see see there was itches again nose itches again Kept giving me an error message. Woo, getting a little dizzy there. You're gonna see me go stop, stop, stop because it was getting really high. Another error message. You're gonna see me go wide eyed here in a minute. Toby Keith's song in the background. Stop. See? kind of in shock at this point I'm trying to tell my boy he's a good boy for alerting to that you guys are going to have to ignore my belly sticking out freaking hate it. I gotta go get another link for my hoop, because obviously I gained quite a bit of weight. So, I'm gonna try to figure out how to not gain weight. Um, I did find out with an iron deficiency you can also gain weight from that. So, I was told by my doctor to start taking iron, and it would make me not as tired as I usually get during the day. There we go, wiping the inside of the pot. Um, ladies, if you have an iron deficiency, don't ignore it. I ignored it for the longest time, and I found that when I took an iron, I don't know what to call it, like an iron vitamin or whatever, that I felt a little bit better. I am, ugh. I am completely out of iron vitamins, so I've been hitting that afternoon, um, like slump, if you will, 
there's been a couple of times where I fell asleep in my chair. So, trying to avoid doing that again, because that does not, it's not comfortable. It's the last thing from comfortable. So, this is the only thing I could find to scoop the other lentils out, so that's just what we used. This video is a long video, so if there's portions where I'm not talking, it's not that I stopped recording the voiceover, but it's just me being quiet. <sighs> you gotta go get propane, too. I have no idea how much for lentils I actually put in there, but shake it down, put it back, come on, come back into the frame, should be here any minute now, there we are. That was the ice maker in the background, sorry about that. have the AC running in the background too, so if you guys can hear that, I'm sorry. It's stinking hot today. It's supposed to be a high of 92 on the day that I recorded this, which is a random day in June. So, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. My hair is going to get progressively worse <laughs> through this video. <laughs> so, I am filling up, that's the water bottle that we use for just filling things, I guess. Um, we use it for the ice maker, for the coffee machine, and anything that really requires water, that's just the one that we use. to get some more iron. See, my nose is still driving me nuts. trying to show you that I was turning down the music, and that was driving me nuts, as usual. Coffee jig. Coffee. No jig? Hmm, I guess not. Like I said, this was recorded a couple days ago, so... It's not been a very easy week this week, so it's been a lot of tears. A lot of tears this week. Had something very stressful go down. Um, yeah, I didn't. I tried to inform you guys about the situation that was going on. Um, that situation has since passed. Um, I didn't talk to my brother for about 10 years and a couple, well a while ago now um that's my sewing machine um I 
didn't talk to my brother for 10 years, and I had a stressful situation happen where he wanted to meet, we wanted to meet, and I thought I was ready, I cracked under some pressure, I was like, okay, fine, um, he shows up at my house, he looks nothing like the brother that I get, I guess I used to know. Um, but yeah, it was an awkward situation, it was a stressful situation, and then to be quite honest, all I wanted to do was just go back into my house and hide. Um, It was that, and then still kind of sad that my bestie moved away. I get to see her every now and then, but she doesn't like FaceTime, so I don't get to FaceTime with her. Um, yeah, so that, my birthday was a couple days ago. Um, it was just not a good week health-wise, mental health-wise, everything feels like it's getting harder. Um, yeah, so, I'm not gonna go into any more detail about it, I don't want, oh, poor me, I don't care for that, I don't like that, you guys know this, don't me, please don't post any comments like that. I don't care for it. I don't like it. Um, just trying to be open and honest with you guys. That's all I'm trying to do. Found that I was having a very hard time with trying to be transparent, and when I stopped doing my vlogs, I wasn't being as transparent as I thought I was being. Okay, making sure it works. Now you guys are gonna see... I cannot find a comfortable position to sit in. Um, you guys are gonna see me try to finish my trainer's box and like I said these boxes are for her to test some of our Mufi Smuts stuff um Mufasa has lost enough weight where one of his sets does not actually fit anymore and I have to go I have to get the biothane to make him a an entire new set the green set that no longer fits is reflective, um, and it's considered to be a full set. So, we are going to give the full set to my trainer so that she can try a biothane set of ours. This is one that we made. We came up with the original idea, the design idea. There is a big name company that is trying to take one of our um, ideas trying to make it their own I'm not gonna say what company it is it is a rather well-known company too especially in the service dog community which is not a community it's lack thereof community there's nothing positive about the service dog community, which is why I refuse to be a part of it. Um, anyway, trying to take one of our ideas that we actually ended up making by mistake. And, yeah, so I'm not going to go into details. Sorry, guys, I just hit the keyboard on accident. I'm not going to go into 
details about the situation that happened, but, um, yeah. So. Can you not? Get out of here, fly. There's a fly trying to buzz around my face and it's driving me nuts again. So this little yellow bag that you guys are seeing holds the rest of my sewing stuff that I need. Like bobbins, scissors, those are fabric scissors. I didn't pull out the right ones there. Um, I have thread scissors. I need to finish the bobbin. I need to make a purple bobbin which I don't have right now um I need to make the purple bobbin I need to finish the collar for it um for the full set for my trip get out of here fly this fly is driving me nuts um this is the lanyard that she wanted um, she wanted a D-ring on it instead of a swivel clasp thing. I'm trying to figure out what my pedal thing is doing to my sewing machine. My foot has tingles in it. Excuse me. Now I have the hiccups, apparently. Oh, jeez. The song that was playing in the background, I, I couldn't do the lip sing to. I I know the words to it, but the song is. not it's not the best song um yeah so that's all i'm gonna say about that I'm trying to figure out what my machine is doing <laughs> i have no idea what that was i should have got the other scissors i just didn't think about doing that okay her lanyard is done. I just have to put the key ring on it. I have, like I said, I had to order, um, what the hell is it called? Hardware to finish my trainer's box. But I'm so sick and tired of seeing these boxes. I'm so sick and tired of doing them that I'm literally thinking about putting all of my sewing stuff back in storage. I'm so done with it. I got up too fast and ended up really dizzy. Get out of here, fly! I'm about to start smacking. Put the key ring on it. <laughs> I was trying to show you that you guys could detach the, where's the snippy snappers? That you could detach the bottom part of our, um, lanyards. And I didn't want to bend down because I had just gotten really dizzy from that. And I was afraid that if I bent down again, that I was going to pass out. So, <sighs> But yeah, that is the lanyard in the print that she wanted. Dancing around, because if I don't dance around, it's not my video. This is the, her dogs. God, 
I'm about ready to start smacking this stupid fly. Fly is bugging me over here. Um, so you guys will see there is two different kinds of triglides on her setup. We are um, actively testing something out with this setup in particular. The we found that the triglides with the sharp edges that's on the shoulders. Um, short-haired dogs don't seem to like. I have short-haired dogs. She has a long hair. My trainer has a long-haired dog, so we're trying to see if the long hair pads the sharp edges a little bit better because my dogs don't seem to like it. And I don't know if it's my dogs, just a thing with my dogs that they don't like it, or if it's like any dog in general just not liking the sharp pointy edges on those triglides if that makes any sense so we're trying to see if her dog can use his fur to pad the sharp edges a little bit better these are one pair of my glasses realized that I couldn't see what I was doing so I had to put my glasses on. <laughs> it takes me a minute to adjust to them. Um, trying to figure out what I'm doing. But yes, there is... Get out of here, fly. Alright, that's it. Come here, you. I have a flash water in my hand and it just ran away. Get out of here. Um but you guys will I hope I hope you guys will be able to see this. I'm not too sure. Um the one underneath where it attaches the triangle to the bottom part of I really hope I really hope this is just making sense the bottom part to the girth strap there's another triglide there that has rounded edges on it um hoping that would be a little bit nicer for this dog to lay on so yeah I don't know what I'm trying to cut. I hate how far my belly sticks out. I don't like that. I really gotta do something about that. At this point, I I think I was talking to the bestie. She called me at work. That reminds me, I have to text her in 30 minutes. I think I was talking to the bestie here. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing with this set.
freaking stomach is hurt. Stomach hurts, freaking back hurts, you know, the normal chronic pain stuff. I think I'm trying to figure out the bottom part of the harness from what I can see. I grab the splice water and the supply runs away. That's hilarious. I think I messed up on this harness as well because I realized that I didn't put the tri-glide on that I don't have. So I gotta figure that out. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what my hair was doing. undercut I think is what it's called the undershave whatever the hell it is um it's growing out but it's long enough to put into a ponytail and like I said you guys are gonna see my hair get progressively worse through this video so trying to figure something out on my phone right here I tend to go um, back and forth a couple times when I make a set. I try to make it strong enough that way if your dog is trained to do stuff like guide or forward momentum pull, FMP for short, um, counterbalance, anything like that. I try to make my harnesses um, strong enough to where they can handle that which is part of the reason I have somebody outside of my family members and friends testing products for me which is part of the reason I asked my trainer in the first place I was like hey do you want to be a tester for my little small business of movies mutts um, it originally started because I couldn't find any place that would be willing to make a girth in the size that I needed. So I was like, you know what? If I'm going to be spending that much money on something, I might as well make it the, the way that I want it. So I learned how to sew. I did things by hand at first. And I told with my grandmother at the time that I wanted to learn to sew. She was like, I'll buy you a machine. And this is the machine that she got for me. She got it from a thrift store, I think. I'm pretty sure, actually. And I learned how to sew on it. And yeah. So I learned how to sew. I started making our own gear. I went to Walmart, got me some fabric, 
and at first I was using things that I didn't wear, like a pair of leggings that I didn't wear. Um, I had a couple pairs of jeans that I didn't wear that is now a bag for hugs and people have actually been asking him where he got the bag and he's, he's had to tell them, look, I make them. I can go to a thrift store, I can find a good pair of jeans, and I used the pant leg of said jeans, cut down the side of the pants, the seam to make the handle, and sewed it all together, and figured it out from there. So, small sewing turned into me absolutely loving it, and from there, I just continued. I didn't, I never stopped. So I now make all of our gear, I do the sewing stuff for small business, which we don't make anything off of, just FYI. Um, it's more, it's not open at the moment, so we don't make any money off of it, but, um, we do it to try to help service dog, um, teams. So. We had a custom collar order at first, and then the person backed out, so we ended up with what was a really nice collar, but I don't know why the person backed out, to be honest, I don't really care. If you're going to order something from me, you're going to end up paying me first, and then I'll make it for you, well, because we end up using the money that you guys give us. We buy the products that you guys want, we make the products, and then with, again, with that money, we ship it off to you. So we don't make anything from it. We're just the makers of the gear. If that makes any sense. I hope that makes sense. I was trying to show you the setup because I was excited because I got it done. Again, if I don't sing and dance, this isn't my video. But I gotta pee again. Jesus. I wanted to throw it behind me. That's why I did that. So I got the lanyard done, I got the setup done, the harness done, I got the leash done, I got the Biothane leash done. It's not a micro mini, but it's something. This is the fabric that I have left to make the cover collar with, which is part of the reason I need this bobbin to get done. Um, I don't know how to do the bobbins. That's the only thing I don't know how to do. That's one thing that my husband does. Uh, I should have. I didn't realize it at the time, but there was like a. I don't know what to call it. I don't know what to call it. There's like a white stamp on the bottom of it that has like copyright and stuff on it. I don't know. Whatever. I didn't realize it at the time, but I should have cut that off and then sewed it on if that makes any kind of sense <laughs> I'm trying to explain this the best that I can um, yeah I should have just done it that way I seem to make things harder on myself than what it needs to be I 
should have just waited to do that, and I just didn't. Making things harder on myself for absolutely no reason at all. And yes, I do have my tongue pierced for, again, for new people, I have my tongue pierced. It's off to the side because there was two at one point. One of them rejected, the other one didn't. So I just decided to keep the one and I don't really care that it's off to the side. It's a little bit weird to talk with, but that's about it. So my jackhammer of a machine. If you guys ever hear how loud this machine actually is, You'd be like, that's not right. The bestie keeps telling me that's not right. Hold on. Okay. Sorry about that, you guys. No idea what I'm trying to do here. I can't see my hands. Oh, I think we were trying to finish the cover collar. Uh, which comes as a part of the full set. So, you have your choice of just a simple webbing collar or a covered collar, which is quite a bit harder to make, but I think it's well worth it, so that's just me. Yes, so. I haven't listened to my music in a couple of days. I got kind of bored of it, so I've just been kind of listening in on Hubby's music a little bit, but I'm trying to figure that out. These covered collars, <laughs> I never actually ended up finishing this covered collar, but like I said, I think it's well worth it. I really like the way that they come out. Um, I do have to get some hardware for it. I am out of trilides and buckles for my cover collars. I also need to get one inch keepers. I also need to get one inch o-rings for a harness that I want, a harness style that I want for Mufasa. Um, it is another reflective harness. I really like them. Keep off of me. I really like them for at night. Okay, seriously? I'm about done with this. Get out of here. There. Kill one of them. can see my machine <laughs> moving back and forth but it is another reflective style harness the, the one that I saw is supposed to be in an orange reflective I like it but I don't at the same time I have most of the stuff already for a yellow reflective harness so I think that is one of the ones that I'm going to go with. Besides, yellow is one of my favorite colors, so, you know, this is the way that this covered collar still looks. This is four days later, three or four days later, something like that. I still have not finished it, which really need to do <laughs> but again like I said I don't have what I need in order to finish this damn collar I also have to I don't think this is gonna be the first time that I have to buy hardware um, in order for me to get everything that I want 
in order to complete this set uh, might be a little bit more expensive than what I care to put out for it. The biothane alone is already in the 400s, and that's only for a couple of rolls of biothane. I was get, starting to get a nasty headache, so I was trying to take some Tylenol for it. Couldn't see the thing on it. It's a little notch to get it down. Okay, what are we doing? Hold on. Okay, here we are fixing one of Xena's collars. The ends on it frayed quite badly. I burnt my finger doing that. Some of the dancing I don't that I do, I just don't understand, so... <laughs> Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Oh, this was, I know what this is. This was an idea that I had. A grow with me Velcro collar because I know some service dog teams don't want to get like harnesses or vests when their puppy is still growing. So the idea behind it was to use Xena's collar and then like be able to double that. So you had the choice of making it how big you wanted, but I wanted it to be specifically Velcro. Can you not? Specifically Velcro, that way you could choose to mark your dog however you wanted. I have two of these and I absolutely love them. Um, I was beginning to get pretty fed up with doing all of this, so I did get to the point where I was starting to throw stuff around because I was getting frustrated with it. So <laughs> you can see how bad my hair is getting. Um, No idea what I was saying there. Found out that Eminem came out with a new song called Houdini. I really like it. Really like it. What? putting the clips along the edge. Again, I was getting to the point. I seemed to hide it really well, but I was off camera and I was getting to the point where I was throwing it around, so I knew I knew to quit, and I just didn't film the rest of that day. So. I gotta text the bestie in a couple minutes. probably gonna have to wait because I have no idea how much longer this is but I've been trying to get this video out to you guys for a while so the bestie's gonna have to wait glasses off because they were hurting the back of my ears. I want you guys to remember. Yeah. I 
want you guys to remember this is all in real time. I don't speed any of this up. So whatever you guys are watching on my channel, I tend to do in, like I said, in real time. I don't, I don't fast forward it. I don't do any of that. So get, get stuff done with me. I don't know. I don't know what to call this video. I just cut the velcro piece off to it, had to put them back on. I think I managed to get this done. trying to reverse it oh and we are coming to the end of the video i love you guys and i hope you guys are having a good day okay bye